boy, does this lighting ever do a good job of lighting up the underside of Pudge's cheeks. Welcome back. As me, a quote-unquote AAA level designer, plays through Elden Ring. And... Mucus Broth, I uh, recall you saying that I should go talk to Fia soon, because there's a quest that I should advance, which I will. But I wanted to kind of finish this little... Uh, I'm being led, essentially, up this mountain, or this cliff face, to this... What do you call the spire over here? So, I wanted to finish up this river's path before I wrap up largely. I think I'm mostly done. The... Caleb Wilds. Never mind. I still have a ton left to do. Anyways, I'll find, I'll find a chance at some point to go talk to Fia. Maybe I'll do it immediately after finding this tower. Maybe I will uh, feel the deep, overwhelming pull to go back to the Celia Tunnels and um, spank me some multi-armed captors with whom I have a bone... with whom bone to pick I have. <laughs> I'm not a very good speaker. Hi. Oh, I didn't even see you were here. Who are you? What are you? Are you like a giant? Celia man? You are. You're a wizard, Harry. Who are you? What do your feet look like? It's always a very important question to ask. Is, who are you and what do your feet look like? Well, you look like you're pretty well put together. But, homie needs some new shoes. Beast blood. Oh, I need to um, go talk to the... Oh my god, so much to do. So much beast blood and things to do and eyes that are quivering. My goodness. Um, first question is, who is that? Do I hear miners? I don't mean like children. I mean M-I-N-E-R-S, not M-I-N-O-R-S. You're miners. Hello. I hear miners and I see a giant um, wing. Okay, what what is going on here? Who are you? And why are you here? Why are you coming back to life and why are you attacking me? I think the answer of those questions in order are, um, I don't know. I don't know, and because it's a video game. Is this just a big old chunk of the Scarlet Rot just hanging out in front of me? It's more of a white rot. Hi. There was a big party happening here before they all died. Brought chairs up here. Look at the nice view. All brought their coolest things. Oh, these guys were having a party, and this guy's like, oh, check it out. I brought a smithing stone seven. And this guy's like, oh, yeah, me too. I'm super cool. And this guy's like, oh, I brought a stone sword key. And they were both like, oh, bro, what a sweet thing to bring to this party. And this guy's like, guess what? Ladies and gentlemen. I brought a smithing stone eight, and then they got into a fight. These three guys lost the fight. The guy with the stone sword key used his stone sword key to murder them. And then he got so sad that he killed his friends that he just sat here until he died. That's exactly what happened. What is going on here? Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, I know it's tough for you to read my mind as to what I'm looking at and what I'm thinking, but I see a a big dragon and a little dragon. Oh, a littler dragon. Now... Okay, uh, which one of you... The little dragon's definitely gonna come to life and kill me. Big dragon? TBD. Maybe I'll uh, see if I can avoid this. Grail Dragon's Barrow. Okay, maybe I'll I'll try and avoid this little dragon for a moment until I can find a site of grace that's a little bit closer. Oh no, the big dragon's alive too. Okay, let's see if we can get a site of grace outside of this castle here. Because uh, 
I don't want to run back here once I die. What? Okay. Oh, I've got a debuff right now? That, that's what's happening, is I'm being debuffed? I think. Not super well communicated, but whatever. I mean, on the player character, it's well communicated, but the um, the player status effects that are right below your health bar are, are usually like are, are very they're very small, and so they're quite easy to miss when they've been applied to you. Hi. What are you doing here? Why aren't you singing? Oh, you're tough. I kind of regret attacking this person. At least they're not poisonous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fall off the edge. Fall to your doom. Even though you can fly. You see, there's an item down there. Ah, whatever. I'm sure it was a lot of... Or it was a golden room? That's what they... Or the great room? Golden room? Sure, that's what they dropped. A little bit bummed I don't have it, but you know what? Take the wind when you can get them. Okay. I have some sort of debuff on me, and I'm not sure... I'm assuming it's from that big old dragon yelling at me. Oh, perfect! Let's uh, rest here and then go investigate. Okay, we'll actually rest. Because this will probably cleanse us of the debuff. And then we can observe if the debuff was applied to us after the uh, dragon... Scolded us. Oh, hello. Are you real? You are real. Are you stuck? So that debuff didn't apply to me yet. Oh, now it's applied to me. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, are you a boss, or are you, uh... You're also hurt. What's going on? Holy shit. Wait, you have red eyes. And therefore you take... Uh, you give me twice as many souls? Is that right? Something... Or, or no, glowing eyes, not red eyes. Sorry. Come on, buddy. I need you now. Because I'm debuffed and I'm hurt. And this guy's... Gonna kick my ass without you. Go, Angball, go. Yeah, you can't hurt my buddy, Angball. But you can get stuck on Gia. Let's uh, get out of here while we can. Hello. Fight. Cool. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were dead. Okay. Oh, is that another one over there? Oh, you're not. You are a creature, because you're not physics. Okay. How much health do you have? Oh, you have a lot of health. Alright. Well. Let's go investigate and see what's going down around side. Oh, another one! Okay, oh, so they're all partially damaged at least. Thanks for taking that from the I appreciate it. If I knew how to feed you a berry, I would do such a thing. Good job, Ingval. Making me Best bud proud. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there's so many of them!
Uh oh. And lightning. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Lightning isn't doing me too well right now. Okay. Now, the big question is are those dragons going to respawn? What is this wall? Is this wall of fire, it seems like? So this dragon came down with such a harsh crash landing. Oh, you're respawning, so you're not a mini boss, you're just a regular old mob. Okay. Let's uh, ignore you. Ignore you and explore a wee bit. Yes, 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 I know you're scary. Are they going to prevent us from getting on this creature for its whole body? I mean... Okay. So, I guess because it's a creature and not an art asset you can't climb on, then you can't land on a creature's body, so they just invisible wall you off of it. Try and die. Futile effort. Blood loss required ahead. What if I use a. Uh, oh, I had a. a Katana's cost blood loss, right? What does blood loss do? Again, I actually don't. Does a portion of health damage, right? Oh, okay, screw this. Oh! That's a lot of damage. Okay, well, if I ever find the need to kill this thing, then uh, I know how to do it. Until then. Is it. Do we know how to read debuffs? Give me details. Top screen. I didn't know that I had these things. Type, body type, type A, age, mature, real mature. Uh, and I had some sort of crimson talisman. I don't remember what that is. Let's, uh... Oh! Has this whole, whole tower been overtaken by rot? Oh my god! Okay, this is not a good idea. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but I know it's a mistake. Let's get out of here. Maybe we'll go check out that castle that we ran by, and then uh, from there we'll move on to the uh, tower. Okay, let's go... I suppose explore this castle here, and um, head a dental procedure a few days ago and so I'm wearing what is this? Uh, effectively a mouth guard so my S's are going to be sweet for now time from behind I don't get it I feel like there are you worry poison oh, that's good that's good I feel like there are um oh this is a nice little level design thing we can talk about I feel like there's some inside jokes from, from software games, like leaving these um, messages that I don't understand. I, I, whatever. But this is, a, this is a really good preview window here. Of like, okay, you're coming in the front door of a space. It's like, maybe it's, it seems like it's maybe the only way to get in. Uh-oh, this guy just got messed up. I will be on my guard. Um, and right as you enter, this guy looks wary too. You see, uh, what is, I don't know what their denominations are for these, for their items, but it's like, what's well, effectively a, a legendary item, or like, um, a, a high-level item. So, but it looks like it's behind something, and we're gonna have to do some funky level maneuverability to get there. Uh, or like, you know, we'll have to work our way through here, and then drop down eventually, but it's a really nice little preview window, and now the player has to find their way to that item. I really like that. I like that kind of stuff.
You dick. You just made me waste a bullet on you. How are all these people dying? There must be some big baddie up here that uh, I'm yet to uncover. Yeah, we'll probably have to go up and down. Here, I like this, although, I, so far, I, I'm, you know. Oh, oh my. Oh my, indeed. Angball, I need you, buddy. Oh my. Okay, I'm gonna have to zap, zap, drink, summon. Zap, zap, drink, summon. Oh, I didn't aggro that one. Nice, drink again. Ooh, these powerful little birds. Golden Room 5. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit! Okay, we'll just keep an eye on that poison for now. What I'll probably have to do is... Maybe I'll equip that uh, spell that cures poison. Right? I have one of those things. Or it's a... It's a uh, what do they call spells that are faith-based? An enchantment? Where's your beautiful music? Why not? I'm a paying customer in this concert. I want to hear it. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. I just need to stay. Golden Rune 9. Oh, you're an upgrade version of the uh, of the other creatures. Very nice. Hi. Get him, Ball. They poisoned me. They don't deserve to live. Nope. Good job. Good job, Engval. I needed you on that one. You did a great job. Golden Rune 9. Now, are these farmable? Because I think Golden Rune 9 are... Bolstering. Oh, maybe not. 3,800. Holy crap. That was a significant amount of runes that were relatively easy to access. Oh, okay. Oh, that's warm. Yeah, this seems like a, be a decent place to farm runes. I still haven't found... Like the best spot to farm runes in this game. Not the best spot. spot. I'm never going to find the best spot. But I haven't found a, a decent place to farm runes for a while. The last one I did was that big um, Stormhill Plateau, I believe? Where I. Um, would just fight lots of giants and they'd only give you like a thousand or twelve hundred souls each, or runes each. So I don't think it was a particularly effective place to farm. But, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've tried to farm anything. And maybe this is going to be a good spot for it. Who knows? But I haven't really needed to farm. Like, there's no... I mean, I'm at the point now where I'll get a couple of extra points. Or I might get a couple of extra levels from farming, but it wouldn't necessarily be worth the effort because it's kind of a diminishing returns thing. So I'm assuming we're supposed to go... Hi. Hello? Ooh, hi. Ooh, oh Jesus, it's Engball. Ah! You scared me, buddy. You're so intimidating and cool looking. Trap? No trap. Dectus Medallion right. Hold on, we have... Uh, that was a key item, right? Oh my god! Right half of a split medallion depicting the Ur tree, brandishing the medallion with the bolt with both halves conjoined. We'll activate the grand lift of Dectus connecting the, Atlas, the At Altus Plateau to Lernia. The left half is said to reside in the coastal fort 
height uh, for west. Wow, we got that back in port height? That was a long time ago. Okay, so I need to put a big fat marker here. It was that one, right? Wait. Study hall entrance. Karen, study hall, study hall. This was the lift that we couldn't access, I think, right? Wait, which lift? <laughs> which one did we just unlock with this? Uh, Grand Lift of Dex is connecting the Atlas Plateau to the I don't have any. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what lift it's talking about, but I'm assuming it's this one. But Dectus. I, I don't know what the Atlas Plateau is. Maybe it's this thing here. Uh, and Dectus. I, I don't know. This is the Karen Study Hall. I don't know what the Atlas this thing is, so maybe it's that one. We'll check it out in a bit, but there's so much to do. Who's here? This is the exact same. Interesting how this is the same... The fuck was that? Uh, this is the same art palette that was in Fort Height, and that's where we got the other half of the medallion, so there's obviously a connection between Fort Height and... Um, Wow. Makes sense. I wonder what Kenneth thinks about this. I keep hearing spooky noises. Oh, I think it's Engval trying to... Looking good, buddy. Oh, he's got sweet spurs. I wonder if those spurs jingle, jangle, jingle as he goes riding merrily along. No! No! What are you doing, Engval? Oh, <gasps> You saved me, Engval. Yeah, this is the same... Um... Engval just saved me. Wow, these guys must be doing a lot of damage. So, these are the guys that are part of, like, the old... Uh, what's it called? Old... Establishment? And a... Because Fort Height had a, a bunch of knights fighting birds. Are those, no, 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 come back, coming ball. Alright, well, whatever, you go down there. I'll need your help up here, but... Whatever. Oh, looks like there's lots of different ways you can drop down that will, um... eventually lead you to that big loot. What's up? Don't let him off. No, no! <gasps> Whoa! That did a lot of damage to me. Holy shit! Please don't have respawned the birds. They're not birds. I don't even know. What, they're not birds. But please don't have respawned them. My. Oh, 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 before I go in, if there are respawned, oh, I'll check first. My least favorite thing about this game or any from software game is just playing the same content multiple times. I know that's part of it. That's part of the loop. Game mastery, yada, yada, yada. But I don't like doing it, which makes me think that when I. That was a mistake, by the way. Um, I think I'm, I'm planning on playing... Ah, shit. Well... I'm just gonna stay back and let Engvall tank the, uh... The Q that they're gonna throw at us. Get him, boy! Sick him! Get him! Nope, don't dust me, don't dust me, don't dust me, you're not allowed to. Nope, I don't want to breathe in your stench. I don't want to smell it, I don't want to see it, I don't want to hear it. Stay back, you savages. Nope, not cool. I, I, I've been considering... Um, trying other From Software games after I'm done Elden Ring. <laughs> Whatever that is. This game is so freaking big. Um, and I know Bloodborne seems to be kind of the quintessential from software game. Oh, you only get, oh, so you only get the bonus from killing them with the nine, uh, I mean, still give quite a bit, quite a few runes, but you only get the, the golden moon nine killing them once. Anyways, um, considering playing 
uh, another From Software game. And it seems like Bloodborne is kind of the consensus. If not Elden Ring, Bloodborne is a consensus best. Glistening cheeks. Um, consensus best From Software game or favorite. A lot of people say. And so I'm going to give it a shot. I tried playing it before. I did not like it. And I think that is largely because of the, the loop of having to play content multiple times over. And I know that's from software games. Like, playing things multiple times over, like, when you die, but just playing the same uh, space to get back to your corpse and recovering your souls, all that kind of stuff. Um, I know that that is that is a from software game. That is what it is. That's what those games do. These games, um, Elden Ring kind of permits you to get around that by having an open world, which is great. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a college try. Save me, I'm gone. No! Whoa, this guy is doing a ton of damage. Jesus. I need to heal him. Does this heal you? No. Uh, but yeah, well, I, I played... I tried playing... Um, what's it called before? Bloodborne before. Did not enjoy it. I'm going to do my best to get into it and see if I can kind of... No, I might need that. See if I can gain a stronger um, appreciation for this uh, genre of game, or like this type of game. Um, again, I, I've, I've been more okay with Elden Ring because... The kind of the, the more linear spaces, the ones that require you to, to play through multiple times. Um, but the open world spaces, you can generally just avoid that that kind of content. It can go around or like take, take different directions to get the same content. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about having to play, dying and running back to the same content over and over again because I know I'm not going to be at the game. Last time that really frustrated me. I found it like, super stressful, super intense, and I know that that's why people enjoy these titles. <laughs> Holy shit. But uh yeah, I, I didn't uh, I didn't find pleasure in it last time and we'll see if we'll see if that's changed now. After I've, you know, at least a little bit of experience from software games. Yeah, so Bloodborne's probably next. We'll see. I do own Dark Souls 3 as well and Dark Souls so uh, it'll be one of I'll give I'll give them all maybe a shot maybe not. Dark Souls one. Uh, I, I don't know if it's how well it's aged. Maybe it's aged really well and it still plays great. Maybe not. We'll see. Engval, you're my purple pig. You're sniffing these guys out. Thank you. Get him. Yeah, buddy. Got a lot of souls from doing this, uh. Or. Barrel? Barrel? Yeah, we'll see. Bloodborne might be next. I'm. Uh, you know, I, I like liking games. I love it when I love a game. It's a lot of fun to be excited to play a game, and I frankly have been quite excited to play uh, Elden Ring when I do play it. Which is great. I get. I, I, it's been a while since I've been. I don't know, I guess. Really positive about this game or, or voice that. Um, that positivity, but there haven't been a lot of games in my recent memory where I've... Oh, these are Dawn Soldiers? I'll get into that in a second. Recent memory where I've been really excited to play it. Um, and, like, I've been so excited that I'm actually, like, I would want to look up guides and, like, do research on it and do things like that. Uh, I've avoided doing that for the most part for this game so that things were fresh and, and I figured it out for myself, but that really hasn't happened, um for me in a lot of games recently, so uh, there's something to this game, there's something to, the development team's obviously talented and um, I'm really curious if uh, I can take the other games as well as I've taken to Elden Ring. I have my doubts, again, because of the, the structure of the game and my experience in the past but I'm uh, very willing to give them a shot. Especially after this. Oh, you dirty rats. No. 
Now where? Who? Right below me is where the, uh, how did you die? You died of the sneaky rat? You did. Okay. How do I? <laughs> okay. How do I get down? Probably just gonna pause this recording until I find a way down because I don't want you to have to stick around with me while I search the things. Perhaps a little bit of awkward corner platforming to get over. Yeah, seems like it. Bang ball, I need ya. Need you to be my exterminator. Oh no! These are tough rats. No, Engel, come and help me. Oh, they've scaled up the creatures in this, hey? Whoa, you have a lot of health. Yeah, I, I didn't know there was so much um, level or like creature scaling in this game. I thought there was no, like, almost no creature scaling. Maybe these aren't like scale. I mean, sorry. When I say creature scaling, I mean things that have. Um, like when games make systems that I would describe as creature scaling or enemy scaling or just any scaling in general, it's when as the player progresses and levels up, the enemies progress and level up generally proportionally to the player's skill level or, or power level or level. So that, you know, if you were to fight, if you were to go to a zone, a very specific zone in level one, uh, when you were level one and you fight uh, a seagull, that seagull could be level one. If you were to revisit that space at level one, or sorry, at, go back to that exact same space and fight that exact same seagull at level five, that seagull would also be level five. So that's like how level scaling generally works. I mean, it, there's tons of nuance to it. However, in this game, I'm not sure if it's level scaling the creatures or if it's scaling up the creatures independent of the player's level. If I came here when I was, uh, you know, level 10 and fought those rats, would those rats be proportionally as difficult? It seems like there isn't creature scaling or enemy scaling. It's just they're reusing the same um, creature assets and just making them harder because we're at a further place in the game. So, well, I'm not sure. It's not. It hasn't been super obvious to me yet. Radagon's... Sorceal. Looks like a. Looks like a butthole and a lychee. Hey, wait. We kill. Who's who's Radagon? Uh, greatly raises the tributes, but also increases damage taken. Okay, what is great? How great is greatly? Mm, let's see this up now. Oh, five, hey? But, yeah, maybe that's worth it, but I'm not... Whoa, you also... That's like a significant boost to health as well. But I have no idea what the damage taken thing is. And, like, those guys were doing a lot of damage to me. So I'm not sure that this is worth it right now. But I will uh, definitely keep an eye on that. Okay, I think I've finished this space. Can I, oh. Now, how do I get out? Oh, this this ladder that I came down is the way I get out. Yeah, obvious. I'm sure. It's stupid of me. Whatever. <laughs> I accept that I miss things and I have a very short memory. You know, I'm probably better off just teleporting out, but. I think I got everything. Cool. Yeah, I like that little, uh, that loop, that preview window they gave you, and then the way that you fought back to it. Um, and then it rewarded you. It's interesting that there was, like, I wonder if the other From Software games do this, where if you kill a creature the first time, you get an item, and then the second time you kill them, you don't get that item. So it, you still get souls from progressing through an area, but you get more souls the first time, so that it rewards you for not, um, being efficient and just going through once. I think that's that's uh, an interesting design. Uh, so I think I'm going to level up and then uh, call this one here. Um, thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next one. Hello. Welcome. As me, a AAA level game designer man, plays through Elden Ring. The game 
from from software brand with which i have some experience now that i've played through elden ring uh but never really enjoyed the games in the past but giving this game a shot and overall really enjoying it but i digress are you any of you alive uh, in the last episode we spanked fort pharaoh and uh now i think we need to finish up exploring a lot of the um the Caled Wild. Oh, a minor Ur tree. Are we going to have an Ur tree Guardian? We have to fight. It's been a real... It's been a while. Okay, were these jars attacking? Or defending? Or perhaps were... Uh, were they vessels that sacrificed themselves to Ur tree? Because I know that they eat up the goop of dead things, so maybe they come here and then they die and then they feed the Ur tree with their goop. Is that what they're doing? Or as I called it, I think they just called it Jam Jar when uh, I found it at one point. Uh, tunnel ahead. Really? Hi. Where? I'm surprised that this bug, bug bat hasn't angered me. Is there like a safe drop down point or something? Down required ahead. Uh, oh, there is a platform. But is that not where I fought Radon? I think. Interesting. Did I miss them? Please just don't attack me. Okay, whatever. You dick. Just trying to explore, and you're trying to knot my face? Inconsiderate. Fatty boy. Okay, tunnel ahead. I don't see anywhere that's safe to drop down, you know. I would absolutely die and then have to fight one of those giant statues down there. Maybe I could do it there. Drop, drop, drop. Okay, there's way... This game... Uh, God, it's got so many distractors. It's like, okay, here's a nerd tree. And then also there's that tower right there. And then there's this thing over here. Like, there's just so much stuff on a single path. That is incredibly distracting. Um, I'm not going to say to a point of detriment. Because I don't think it's a... To, I mean, maybe maybe to a point of detriment. It's like, God, there's just so much... thing. There's so many things you can actively do. Yeah, yeah, okay. It looked like you had to fall down on this route. Um, that it's almost overwhelming. I, you know, as, as my, 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 my supervisor boss... Um, co-workers... I've called this in the past decision paralysis. Oh, there is a... What the fuck are you? A putrid avatar, right? I'm just gonna ride around you for a moment. Um, when you offer players t too many options in, in a game, you know, and it's debatable what is too many, what's not, and not enough, what's too much, whatever it may be, um, you kind of don't make any decisions because there's too many options for you to do. Um, and this game, I think, suffers from that a little bit, is there's almost too much stuff pulling you in multiple directions simultaneously, which in some ways is nice because there's lots of content to complete, but also it really um, distracts me from finishing one thing. And there's a lot of like, a lot of open... It creates a lot of closure issues and a lot of loop closing issues. Um, but whatever. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious to fight this thing because it seems like it's the same creature model and the same attack animations as the Urtree Guardians, which I fought a long time ago. Why don't I have full... Um, but I'd be very curious to see... I bet you they're more difficult. Because it's future. Oh no, I can't summon my friend! I don't have full mana. Now, are you... Oh wow, you're susceptible to... Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 so this game doesn't scale creatures directly, but in some ways it does. Uh, I was talking about this in the last episode, because I fought some rats that did a lot of damage to me, and then I had a discussion about, okay, uh, about creature scaling, and how, you know, your standard creature scaling is the creatures level up as you do, and so that everything always stays the same difficulty in some ways. And this game doesn't have that directly, but indirectly it kind of does, because it they do reuse creature models a fair bit. You know, they'll reskin them a little bit here and there. Um, and then just scale up the difficulty. 
which is, I think, respectable and understandable, because I said this before, creatures are really freaking expensive to make in video games. Um, but because this game is so big, I'll be curious how many more times I'm going to see the exact same creature fall through the game. Because, um, yeah, like, when you build a game that's this big, you got to put content in it, and then uh, it costs money to do that. It's like... I, I think I said this before, but I have worked on games in the past where the, uh, oh, yeah, I have to run. The level art can be made so much faster than the rest of the game. Uh, and then what happens is you have these big spaces where you have to figure out ways to fill them with content. But, you know, in some ways, once the, uh, once the level art palettes are complete, like, a good level artist and a good world designer can crank out content pretty fast, and they're gonna very easily, oh, shit. They're gonna very easily, god damn it, outpace the uh, other content designers in the games, like the creature designers or gameplay designers, or whatever. So you're gonna end up with this excess of space, and you're gonna need to figure out things to do with that space, because you can make a big world, but you need stuff to put in that world, or it's not gonna be that interesting. Uh, that said, um, n not counter to what I just said about this game having a lot of things, like there's so much to do in it that's distracting, but it's not all new, unique uh, content. Like, you're kind of doing the same thing everywhere you go. You're, you're, you're going through a dungeon, fighting your way to the end, getting loot, coming back. Like, it's very it's a very simple game model. Um, they don't have a lot of interesting puzzle mechanics or anything. Like, the, the game, the gameplay, outside of just, like, fighting and progressing your character, is, I mean, I guess traversing across the landscape, is quite limited. Um, and that's not a knock on the game at all. But uh, they don't have a lot of other things to kind of fill your time. So, um, yeah, it seems like they built a really big world and then maybe struggled to fill it with unique content. I mean, the game's still fun, but yeah, yeah, after you're fighting like this boss, I would not want to fight this boss again. Although I'm sure I will. Maybe I'll throw down. Let's pull an ink ball in here. Um. Yeah, you know, right now it's fine. It's my third time finding it. Whatever. But, uh... I'm hoping... I have six? Oh, I have six. I'm hoping that I don't have to fight this, uh, this kind of boss one more time. Because the battle starts to get a little... Uh, a little tiresome. Alright, Inkbell. You go tank, and I will throw fireballs. I gave you life, and then therefore you saved my life. So this is Putrid. That is the same title that was given to that big sticky lizard that was at the bottom of Stormhill Castle, right? So what's going on with that? There's some sort of connection between the two, huh? Why is this thing Putrid, and what does Putrid mean? Who do you represent? Oh, maybe it's because you were a representative of the Earth Tree at some point, and then because of the, the red uh, blight, what's this thing called? The um, Scarlet Rod, not <laughs> red blight. Oh shit! No, 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 which I guess is like a pretty classic way to um, vary up a boss encounter is to throw in little extra mechanics like that. In a cheap way. So it does make the fight different. Not that much different, but it's still... Oh shit. Run, 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 run! Oh, I should be swapping my... Um... I need to have more. Oh, that's a new skill I haven't seen yet. What skill is that? No! Don't get caught on assets again! Oh, fuck. Oh, that happened last time I fought this thing. I got caught up on a tree or something. Uh, I wonder if that's, um... Yeah, I wonder how intentional it is on behalf of the designers. It's like, do you... You build the space. Are those things there to stop the player from running away, or are they more there to 
give the player something to kind of hide behind um, when the earth tree or the the putrid tree was attacking you, or is it both? Is it both? Maybe it's both things. I mean, it kind of serves both purposes. So who knows? I think Engval was worth it. Oh shit! Oh, I should have redistributed my glasses, but whatever. All right, my friend, you ready for round three? Oh, that's not a good start. We'll split them up. Oh, no, 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 Okay, let's get a clear place to run to. This looks clear. Get him, Ball. Hopefully we don't get a ton more ads this time. Maybe that was just... A oh, wow. Lucky me. Maybe they were just down there and I ran into them? Or did he pull them in as part of his phases? Their phases? Well, I don't know why I'm assigning a gender to a big tree thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Yet, though. So maybe it was just I ran. They were always there, and I ran into them. Oh yeah, a little bit of AI abuse. Never hurt anybody, right? I mean, besides the AI that you, on which uh, which you were abusing. What the fuck are those? What's up? What are you plants? Am I gonna get zapped by a tree? What are you? Boulder blue. Cool. And a one and a two. And a buckle my shoe. No, no, no! Oh shit. One. This music is epic as F, but why am I not dying from the facts? Don't get me wrong, I'm thankful I didn't die from that, but... I feel like there's been two instances where I have been so close to death that it looked like something was saving me. Come on. One. Two. Three. And a fireball. Run! Clear line of sight here. Oh fuck! 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 Yo! You're not supposed to do that. That was entirely my fault. Being patient. This is quite an epic fight, though. The cool, like the creature. Itself is really cool looking. The music is lovely. The ambience is great. Very cool fight. Obviously reduced a little bit by the fact that um, I fought that boss before. Opaline, hard tier, and stone bar cracked. I'll have to check this out. Okay. Whoa, that gave me so many souls. Holy crap. I'm gonna get zapped by lightning, aren't I? A crystal tear forms slowly over the ages where the Erd Tree's bounty falls to the ground. Who's all form of damage negation? Oh, yeah, that's cool. A crystal form tear forms slowly over the ages. Or the Earth Tree's bounty falls in Oh, it's just like it's saying. Just form from Earth Tree. Uh, Crystal Tree forms slowly over the ages where Earth Tree's bounty is going to crack fall. Okay. Uh, okay. So it's not. They, they don't offer any additional interesting lore around the end. Third 
entries just the urge respawn those things. But this urge is still standing in the middle of this scarlet rot, despite the its urge tree. Um, despite the person that was guarding it or hanging around it being putrefied, which is interesting. Like, are you are you different? Um, Guardians over here? Hi. Who are you? Oh, you are different. Okay. You're like a future version? Right? Before... Oh, no. You look the same. You look... Hey, I like your greens. Can you give them to me? I like everything of your outfit except for your mask. I want your greaves. And I want your wristbands. I already got your... Spear, thank you very much, and it served me very well through this game. Hey, you. What are you doing over here? You, s you being a creep? Just creeping on. You take any fall damage from that? No! Whoa, 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 whoa. I just killed your buddy! Don't kill me! I mean, I meant, um, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> That's not a very convincing argument. I just killed your buddy, don't kill me. So you don't seem to be as effective by uh, Okay, let's not die. I could just skip these guys, but I want to kill them because I like their I like their gear. I want to be a bronze god. Man, so many ways to go. Oy, yay. Okay, uh... Ugh. Wait, is that up there where... Oh, it is the Bestial Sanctum. Okay, maybe we'll put a pin in... We won't go there right now, because I know I've got a bunch of beast blood. But I want to fight that gargoyle that's out there, outside there eventually. But what, we'll, what we will do is go check out this little castle thing here. Oh, this is not this uh, the lightning. Uh, these lightnings, the lightning that's showing up here is not random. Oh shit! But I also have to. I don't have to do anything. I also should go check out that tunnel that they were talking about further back. Oh god, there's so much to do. Yeah, decision per like this game. Mm -hmm. It's so hard for me, to, like, because I'm a little bit hypocritical for like praising the amount of content the game has, but then also being like, oh, there's too much content, and I don't think there's too much content I think games can have too much content I think that it's okay to just let like play a game and then let it end it's okay to be having a beginning a middle and end to the game it doesn't need to go on forever um, and I'm still enjoying this game and I'm looking forward to playing more uh, I just there may have been a way that they delineated out the content differently so that you just someone like me isn't so overwhelmed, but, you know, maybe I'm a special case. Like, not ever, not everyone would be as overwhelmed um, discovering all this content design. I just feel like I'm kind of being flooded with with, uh... less content to do. Just, like, so many, so many distractions. And I'm so distracted that I'm running around currently with 95,000 souls and, like, no potions. Seems like a bad idea. Now, where was this drop down? Like down before? Was it here? No, it was here. Well, if there's a if there's a cave, then theoretically there will be a oh shit, this is a mistake. You know what? Let's make this uh, let's make this intense. We'll try and do some platforming with uh, a lot of souls. Seek down, yeah. Oh yeah. Probably better off using torrent just because you can double jump and kind of correct your falls. Shit, that did a lot of damage. 
Should have maybe pulled out the cotton. Oh, and I have... Oh, fuck. And I have uh, no flasks. This is a terrible idea. Why am I doing this? Can someone tell me why I'm doing this? I know exactly why I'm doing it. It's because I'm too lazy to go back and get... Uh, and spend all these runes. But I am causing myself unnecessary hardship and stress. Oh, oh wow, that rock slants too. I think I can get down to that one. I'm going to take fall damage. Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to go... Um, this is not worth it. I'm going to go level up and then I'll come back here. Does that, didn't, did that hurt me? I couldn't tell. Okay, maybe I should have torn out just so that I can... It's, it's an interesting battle between doing this on foot and doing this on torrent, because with torrent, your movements are, are, are harder to control, in a way, because you're moving faster. That was a close call. But at least you get the double jump to correct for your falls. Um, but on foot, you're slower, so you can your movements, are, I'd say, are more precise. What? Why couldn't I double jump there? Why couldn't I double jump there? Uh. As I'm riding back to my tra traversal spot, I wanted to actually record because I have a theory, and it's probably wrong, but why not? So it seems to me like uh, I've talked about this before. Everything in this game is focused around runes and killing things, taking their life, whatever. Or at least for me. And when I kill something and take its runes, I then can sacrifice those runes at the side of grace. I'm not sure what the mechan if the mechanics have been totally explained but sacrifice those runes out of sight of grace to uh, gain power. And as far as I know, sites of grace are like like third tree. Maybe they're probably third tree. So in an in indirect sense, in my understanding, I am sacrificing the souls or the runes, which I guess are kind of, in a way, the souls of um, creatures. And in return, I get power. Now, we recently learned that great jars, like this one here, and like Alexander, consume the bodies of dead. So in a way, do essentially this, like to get to get more powerful. So in a way, um, the more bodies they consume, the more powerful the bodies, the more powerful they get. Just like me, the more powerful things I kill, the more runes I get, the more powerful I get, etc. Um, so these jars being here suggests to be one of two things. Either they are coming here, like full of bodies, to sacrifice themselves to the great tree, to feed it and make it grow, or the Erd tree, to feed it and make it grow, or they are being brought here to be sacrificed to the Erd tree to feed it and make it grow. It seems like, you know, the, the Erd tree's all golden and shiny, but, like, you can't really ignore the fact that I'm powering it with runes, which I'm getting from killing things. And all of these jars being here broken suggest to me that they're coming here to either sacrifice themselves or be sacrificed because they are filled with dead bodies and, and the power of the dead bodies, um, and therefore are using that shit. Using that jam to, uh, what was it called, like, great jar, or like jar jam? Using that jam to, um, fuel the earth tree. I don't know. I'm sure there is lore somewhere that refutes what I just said, but... That seems to make sense. Or that's what I'm that's the connection that I'm drawing in my head right now. Which would be kinda cool. Man, this game just loves having a shitty visual language for platforming. It's like, okay, is this one uh, lower down? Oh blood stains on it, or is this one lower down? This looks a little bit closer, but it's so hard to tell. But yeah, this you know platform in this game is not one of its strong suits. I like that they include platform in this game, for sure. It adds a nice wrinkle, or like a... It adds a nice, um... It adds, like, an extra layer of gameplay. Totally cool, I support it. But, uh... I think they could have handled it better in a lot of places. 
Oh, no, 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 fuck. God damn it. I, I want to just take a moment to uh, have a bone to pick with the designers of... Well, it probably wasn't even a designer that made this base, it was probably an artist, because it's not... I don't know, it's pretty rough. I, I came down here before um, off stream and I, I jumped. And because the geo over here is simplified in a way, the physics are also simplified. So what happened is I jumped across and then I hit this and then I slid down, but they put this ledge so that if you go down from this side, you miss the route below. So you have to go down from this side, but you can't go right from the center point here because then you'll slide off this little ridge to my right and then you'll miss the route. So you have to come down and then jump up. The platform in this game is really funky. Oh shit! I was probably gonna do. It. I was about to do it again there. It's like it's so, you know. I guess you could call it skilled platforming. I'm not gonna hit that fuck. But it's more like it's so nuanced because the, the geometry, like the physics geometry on the assets, uh, is not perfect. It's like it's so unclear where you can land, where you can't, where you can drop. Like uh, I've said this before, but um, yeah, the visual language this game is not strong, but it's also almost intentionally vague in a way that I don't think is good. Um, I have no problem with, like, really difficult um, traversal areas in games. Like, I remember... I, I can get... I, I've generally found um, solving a hard traversal puzzle in games like Guacamelee or, um, like, Rayman Origins or whatever maybe Rayman Legends. Rayman Origins. Um, challenging, but, but satisfying in the end. But those are based on timing and... Um, combination of various mechanics and like uh and precision and timing like you know can you jump onto the small platform while it's moving and then do a dodge roll through a um a an obstacle before and then immediately like oh sorry off platform and then jump midair and then land on a wall and then bounce off that in the, in the right location orientation like all those things i actually quite enjoy that but this is just, uh, Um, this is not the kind of platforming I enjoy. <laughs> it's just, I know that those last two jumps of mine were, were, were shitty and my fault, but, like, it's so nuanced and, like, yeah, it's just not very, um, they're not designed platforming issues, they're designed platforming challenges, they're, like, art platforming challenges, um, just due to, like, lack of clarity in visual language and... They're not like a... Yeah, they're less so precision. I mean, maybe I'm just frustrated and so I'm not getting this game, perhaps. I'm probably... If I if I, if I, uh, if I did this the first try, maybe it wouldn't be as frustrated and so it wouldn't be quite as hard as it, but I feel like my frustration is 70% my fault and 30% the game's... Um, not fault, but uh, due to the game's art-forward design. Design is a... Designed as a secondary um, priority to art. Because I think I think if a designer came through and made a, a platforming space like this, they, they would have made it a little bit clearer, but maybe not. Who knows? Hey. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't believe I actually got down. <laughs> it took me so many tries. <laughs> I didn't even... I'm not even going to put all the tries in the video. Uh, boy, oh boy, did that ever kick my ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Now. You there, big boy. You're not allowed to kill me. Because I took way too long getting down here. And I want to explore freely now. Thank you very much. Oh, you're a special one too, eh? I don't think they ever had those flaming axes and such. No, 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 no. Runar? Okay, cool. Was that it? Oh, that's good. Cool. What's. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, this is staying static. This is a really tight spot for, for them to be in. Oh my god, so much help. I know I have to go for the hands, but the hands are... What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, can I get out of here? What? Oh man, 
the attacks of the walls in this game really suck. Is there... Oh, am I just fighting this thing? There's nowhere else to go? Okay. Yeah, do your thing. You know what? Fuck this guy. I don't care. I'm not going to do it. I'm not dropping down there again. Fuck that. I didn't realize how long I'd been recording for, so I'm going to end the video here, and I will see you in the next one. Or I won't. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.